in the regional final. The Aggies are come in against Texas State both games, moving her up to the six hole, hoping that her ability to get on is always a close contest because of the bragging rights, because of the rivalry. And a leadoff walk issued to Leanne Good. The post done just a sophomore. She's just so dynamic in the box. She can hold career. Kate Roy. And that one gets past the center fielder. And Roy, Leanne Good flying around the bases. And Texas has jumped in front. And it ends up at third base as well. Well, it was drizzling for about 20 minutes before the game. Uh, and that's a shame for Texas A&M because their defense has been brilliant for the appearance last night. The ball was elevated. And Texas State took advantage of some missed pitches. The first three Texas come up with some huge victories against Arkansas. The two-way player. Scores easily. You see her dive in right before. Madison Preston has had quite the journey herself in college softball. Vivi, part of this. Look back. Over to second, it goes Harper on to first. But remember, the Aggies are averaging more than five. And the only Texas player to record multiple hits yesterday against this Aggies team. Way to be able to drive in runs. When needed. Coco Willie on the first, but that will bring in another Texas run. Four nothing Longhorns. Thinning. Harper represented the tying run, the potential tying run in that. This one lifted to left center field, and Ryan looks up, and it's off the top of the wall. Atwood will head into second with a two. Is the only one who has cleared the wall in this regional. Texas has had quite. And there was a two-out walk. That drop ball just isn't coming in high enough for Texas to... Through crucial fifth inning leadoff walk against Kelly Mack. Not shocked that she had the green light right there. And the bases will be loaded for Texas for the second time in this inning. The away team for this ball game. Seven of the first nine batters for Texas have reached twice today. To head to his super for the first time since 2000. Here's the 2 2 to good. That one right to the glove of Cannon, and the top half of the first comes to an end. But Texas puts the circle for Texas, already has four runs of support, and she's coming off the first. Aggies, she had a big hit or a big RBI double last night. Performance in the regionals a year ago through 204 pitches in two games. Oh, Martinez bobbles it. So, Kat, you have to imagine as Woolly reaches reach seven times this weekend. Toward the end of the game, she wanted to be able to throw the complete games. Harper over to second. Good scoops it up on the first heck of a play by the freshman. Them to increase their lead. Texas State eventually scored. Still, mentally, you're ready to go. You're ready to attack. And then you get in a situation. That one bounces off Scott. Gets the out at first. Woolly heads home and she is safe. Tailing at least a little bit. You get that first run. Crowd wanted that call. Cottrell sends one to right field. Maloney towards foul territory, makes the grab. So the first three hits and four walks. She closed the game last night. Yeah. Hasn't thrown a ton of innings to where I felt like she would be tired. So I really thought she'd get up and, and fist pump and a lot of big reactions consistently. Okay, just knew she had the, the wave to keep going. And so she ran. And she'll head over to first for the second time today. Don't miss a minute of the action from the... Mike White playing a hunch, moving her up to the cleanup spot. It's not working ahead. That one bounces off of Wiggins. The dirt might be a little bit sticky from it is. And that hitter, bases will be loaded for the third time today for Texas. 
better composer from AM on defense earlier in this regional. There's still a lot of ball now. She's just trying to put the ball on the ground and let them run. And the Aggies walk in a run. Their sixth walk of the game. To the left-handed hitters. Reese Atwood doubled in the first inning. Swings at this one, takes it to center and right, makes the grab, runner at third, tags, and Day will score easily, no throw home. The lead up to five. Get right back to the hotel and go to sleep right away. Another walk, base is loaded again. By pitch, you're giving Texas a lot of base runners, and with the way they can swing the bat, they don't necessarily, that's not in Texas's plan right now. Papelka does swing. Woolley scoops it up on the first, and they get the speedy Papelka in time. Top half. Of well, that's a tall task as the only one to have to relay. So she knows it's going to be a good fight once Texas comes to the SEC. Yeah, that's when the light bulb went on. Martinez with the out. The women's college. That one looped into center field. Second hit of the day for the Aggies. Then we saw her with some uh, before the walk-off hit we just talked about. Lifts one to shallow right, right center. Midway there, it's Maloney with the grab. And a run scored for the Aggies each time. Trisha Ford. Too late. This one ripped into the gap in left center. That's going to drop off the track and the wall. Wiggins racing around the bases, the throw home, and Wiggins. This is opposed to the middle infielder that's out there. Leanne Good redirects that throw, but Rylan time. Try to settle herself down just a little bit. Chopped over to first, Kiroga with the toss to Gullen. Slid into, and both players are down the... Ferguson still down as they check on her. Yes. Ferguson diving in head first, and I hate to say it, but this is why you don't dive over there at first base. And Leanne Good, who was involved in that collision at the plate, much better shape than we saw moments ago. It's good over to set. Backhanded by Harper. One away. Emily Kidney got 3 0 on Leanne Good, but then did settle in. Three Sturman. A fair ball. I don't think so. that lack of effort is going to go over well in the dugout. So quickly two away. Dayton swings at the first one. And that's just what the Aggies needed. A one, two, three frame at the top of the third. Rizma, the special season they were having. She said, I wanted to be a part of that tour. But she said that wasn't what exactly convinced her. As this one chopped over to Martinez, not in time. And Coco Woolley is a boy. A tough one. AM continues to fight back, and Coco Woolley setting the table right now. Chopped over to Short Martinez. Bobbles that one. Again, the fielders for both teams. Two batters of the inning reach. Woolley and Harper here is Trinity Cannon. Robin. Able to make a couple plays, which has given the Aggies some free opportunities. Flies out to center. Willie tags the throw bound two coming up. Got her. First strikeout of the day for Mac Morgan. And it's a big one. Scoring position. And now there are two away for Morgan Smith. 2-2. Two -two. And Mac Morgan with an inning ending strikeout. Back to back K line this weekend. Courtney Day ropes one to left and a diving grab by Look Who, Star Ferguson back in the game. When she collided with Leanne Good, she probably was, got her. There is called strike three. Well, all of a sudden, Texas. Maloney been so reliable at the plate and in the field. That one hopped over to Wiggins. And by the time she sent it to first, Maloney was safe in the second. And championship Sunday. Atwood checks swing. That's a fair ball. Wiggins 
on the first, and the inning comes to an end. We'll talk to Mike, where hits allowed through three innings, no walks, and a couple of runs. To throw strikes early in the count. Lee and good to right field. Wiggins with her second hit of the day. AM continuing to try to claw their way back. This one, two. This one to right field, right at Maloney. The one I have had the fortune to call quite a few Texas games, but when you talk about the seriousness of Mac Morgan. Dude coming up to end right. Chops one over to Scott for the lead runner and they get one. Yeah, Leanne Good making a statement to Coach White that Riley go high. Leanne Good, that one backhanded by Harper but unable to get it to first lead off hitter board. Given up one earned run in three and a third. Or you know where his zone is, you don't expect him to change it. Woolley charges and not in time. There is that speed of Popelka paying. And just transition and throw. Drops down the butt. Spinning around to first is Kennedy. Two in scoring position. One. In the circle. They have had a strong season so far. Backing up is Harper. And drops it. Another run comes in for first three games you could say see that say well they still have four errors they're down by five time becoming a major factor and we will have a bases loaded situation again third different inning to relax just a little bit season alive there's Emotions so much boiling over and Courtney Day sends one into the gap Two score. Here comes Bella Dayton, and that's a three run double for. This effortless swing, and she drives that to the left center gap. Courtney Day with three more arms. And by the way, I'm in danger of this game ending after the fifth inning as Martinez pops one up as they trail by eight. They will be coming off that emotional win last night with the season on the line. You have the adrenaline going again, playing for your season against your arch rival, and here we go. The Aggies will be down to their last three outs in the bottom. Alex, want to go back to Bree Warren pinch hitting. She was getting ready to be entered in the fourth inning. Morgan down just a little bit and say, hey, let's not let this game, the emotions of this game affect us. That was Morgan's first three ball count and first free pass that she can get. And you see Martinez over at second getting the out. Texas slid over their infield. Martinez for the first time since 2016 this year. In year number one of the Trisha Ford era. And one out away, Texas is. Mac Morgan looking to. And hits her, two on. For Riley. Five, though, have left the yard, so Riley Valentine has some power. Speaking of, Lutz is one to left, and we got a brand new ball game in Austin. Self, she has left the yard in key situations for AM and Coach Trisha Ford playing on a gut feeling right there, and Riley Valentine extends this. All weekend, Valentine and Ayana Coleman. And Valentine knew this was gone off the bat. So she watched that big cut right there by Morgan Smith. I feel like AM is fired up. This one lifted to left. Papelka is there. And we play on in Austin. The Aggies. We have seen everything. Everyone coming up clutch on both sides. Atwood with the base hit. And some unexpected heroes reached three times. Washington swings at the first one. Wiggins on the second for one. And that's all they get. 
But Texas A&M responded yet again. All three errors have... And called strike three on good. So back-to-back -back strikeouts. And the act... Enough to go ahead and close the door on that 2-1 win for throughout a full game. That's why he's been able to use her in relief. Wiggins lines one out to Bella Dayton. Bull to break through today. Two flyouts to right field. Called strike three. Two away in the sixth. He two strikeouts in 60 innings on the year. And a two out walk issued by Simpson. Field smiling afterwards. Great to see her recover from that. In a four pitch walk. And she will indeed turn the lineup over. We go back to the top of the continues to fight. They were down to their last out in the fifth inning. Swings at that one in front of it and it turns foul. And the count moves to 0 and 2. They're made of. Mia Scott is there, and the threat is over. AM strands two, and here we go. Issued by the Aggies pitching staff. And on the mid, still sliding head first into bases. That one off the glove of Wiggins. Woolley on to first. Not in time. Dayton reaches for the fourth time to when her timing's on. Drove an eight in Oklahoma City last year. Check swing there. Quickly, Kennedy on to first for the second out as Dayton advances will be due up for the Aggies in the bottom half of the seventh inning. They verbaled as an eighth grader. Martinez takes one to center field, and that's going to bring home another run. Vivi Martinez sliding into second. Sophia Simpson. And there is called strike three. Texas two outs away. No other, but when she loses feel of that pitch, it can be a big difference. And working behind right there, Trini Cannon knows that her changeup is her bread and butter. The Aggies on the verge of getting run will down 10-2 with two out. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Two away. And a two-out walk here in the bottom of the, of the seventh inning, and that will prompt three so many clutch moments all year. The Yankees need her one. Got her! Texas is headed to the Supers! Over the Aggies. So Texas runs the table here in the Austin region. Goes on to win. For Kat Osterman, I'm Alex Loeb. We thank you so much for joining us.